Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it's Josie here, aka Sir Plants a lot, and I am back with more houseplanty content today. And what we're talking about today is ways to hang up your plants using macrame plant hangers without having to drill any holes into walls or ceilings or anything, just without having to drill anything. If you're as unlucky as me, then you're forced to rent spaces where you cannot do literally any adjustments whatsoever without having your deposit taken away. So this video is gonna be for those of you renting that love hanging up their plants but didn't know how to do it without drilling, or for those of you that are just scared of using a drill like I am. <laughs> We're gonna be talking specifically about plants that you hang up using plant hangers. I got inspired by my recent video that I made on making a plant hanger. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link it up here and also in the description box below. And let's get into the video. So these will be in no particular order, it's just how I've written them down. And the first one on the list are Fisher German adhesive hooks. So I actually came across this product accidentally I searched on Amazon for adhesive hooks and this one was the only one that looked like it would be really sturdy enough to hold a watered plant in a terracotta pot or a ceramic pot. So I tried it out, I bought it. It's not the cheapest, I'll be honest. I paid I think like eight pounds for, well, just one adhesive hook, which if you wanna hang up a couple of plants that can get quite pricey. But I do have to say that it really does hold the plant magnificently like it is very stable and I'm not really scared that the hook would fall down and um harm your plant in that way. The way that this adhesive hook works is, I'm not sure about the exact science, but I think it uses resin or some sort of very, very strong glue, because when you first get the packet, you get like two tubes of liquids and you have to mix them together and then uh, put it on the hook and uh, press it to the wall as soon as possible before it dries. So it's definitely a little bit more work, but at the same time, you kind of feel like a DIY queen when you're mixing your glue and then sticking it into the ceiling. So so I would say like 10 out of 10 for the experience alone. <laughs> I haven't actually tried detaching this hook from the wall. I think that's gonna come at the end of my tenancy here. I do think you might have to do some damage control with that one because like I said, the glue is very, very strong. So I don't think you'll be able to scrape it off the wall without scraping some of the paint off as well. But what I'm planning to do is I only installed one of those hooks over there. So I'm planning to just leave it there and hope that my landlord doesn't notice. And yeah, they'll just kind of happily dilly dally into the sunset. <laughs> so that's the first option. The second option that I have tried and have been pretty satisfied with was using these adhesive hooks that I got on Amazon. With these ones, I got a set of 12 for six pounds. So it's really reasonably priced, meaning that for six pounds, you can hang up to 12 plants, which is amazing. Again, I'm not sure about how these ones come off. I have heard some people that use similar ones to these say that they do take some of the paint off. So um, yeah, be very careful with that. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna try to take one of them off in an inconspicuous area. And if it doesn't come off easily, then I'm just gonna leave it there and hope that my landlord doesn't notice. Um, the Amazon website says that these are reusable. So when you take them off the wall, you're supposed to just rinse them and they should be ready to use again. Not sure about that part, but they also say that they will not leave any trace when you take them off, which I don't believe. So take that information with a grain of salt. <laughs> but either way, these are really good because as you can see, you can either hang them up on a wall this way or you can hang them from the ceiling like so. This is how I use them. I use them to hang my plants from the ceiling. I do currently have uh, one plant that is in a plastic pot that is hanging from one of these hooks and another one of my plants in my bathroom that is a, I believe, 18 centimeter terracotta pot that is hanging from that as well. And I just watered the plant yesterday and the hook isn't coming off. So these definitely work. So also a good option. I'm gonna link everything down below if you're interested. Um, I do believe they make different sizes of these and I would recommend that you get these big boys because, you know, if you're gonna hang plants that are gonna be heavy, you want it to be as heavy duty as possible. 
possible. The next way to hang plants is how I actually first started hanging plants and that is by using a tension rod. Now this is again a tried and true method by me but it is not a hundred percent stable. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to insert some pictures if I find them but when I used to live in Prague I had a tension rod in my kitchen window and I had quite a few plants hanging from that. That one was okay but then I also had a longer tension rod in my living room because the window in the living room is bigger and that one did fall down once and some of my plants broke and there was mess everywhere. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend like getting tension rods that are that long because ultimately you know the longer the tension rod is the more space you have hence the more plants you're gonna try to hang up there which is exactly what I did. <laughs> but for small spaces uh, or like smaller windows I have found that it works perfectly fine if you just want to hang up like one or two plants on there. Obviously you need to make sure that the tension rod is like as tense as possible. I don't know how else to describe it but basically like you can adjust the tension on the tension rod depending on the width of your window and you basically want to make sure that it's like really sturdily in there and it's not going anywhere. The good thing about using the tension rods is that it is 100% rent friendly because there is not going to be any residue on the walls afterwards but for that like I said you have to sacrifice uh, the potential instability <laughs> but ultimately you know if you just want to hang up one or two plants and it should be fine. It should be fine, but do be careful and I'm not guaranteeing that your plants will not fall to their death. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> All right, and the last way that I found that is a renter-friendly way to hang up plants is by using a clothes rack. So this option is good, but only if you have the space for it. Again, I tried this option out myself. It is definitely very stable. I would say it's a lot more stable than using a tension rod because obviously, you know, the construction is supposed to be stable because it's supposed to hold like your coats and stuff. And there's also a lot of flexibility associated with that. So if you want to make it like match your interior and stuff, I got one off of Facebook Marketplace and it ended up being a lot more narrow than I thought it would be, which is unfortunate, but I do still have some plants hanging on there and you know, there is enough space in the room for the clothes rack to be there, so it's fine. Or potentially if you're feeling crafty, you can just find an ugly ass clothes rack and kind of upcycle it to your liking and really make it fit your interior that way. Last thing I wanted to mention, if you're gonna use the tension rod or the clothes rack to hang up your plants, I would recommend getting some sort of as hooks such as this this one. This particular one is uh, from Ikea. It comes in a set of, I don't know how many, but it comes in a set. You've got uh, big ones, this is one of the bigger ones, and small ones. The small ones don't really work on the tension rods and the uh, clothes racks just because the loop on the small ones is too small to go entirely over it. But if you can find some, I don't know, better <laughs> as hooks, this is all I could find, then it makes taking the plants off and putting them back on a lot more easy. Otherwise, you would have to just take the tension rod down, put all the plants on there and hang it up with all of the plants on the tension rod. And I've tried it, trust me, it's not, it's not worth it. It's better to just have as hooks. So make sure you get some of these. But yeah, that is the last way that I found that you can hang up plants securely somewhat securely without drilling any holes. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, please make sure you give it a like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up to date with my day-to-day -day, and I'll see you here for my next video. Bye!